bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome back to French Hot Beer Reviews, the COVID sessions. Yeah, that was good. That was smooth. <laughs> what do we got tonight, Jeff? Oh, well, that's I don't know, right. but you, you, you're Scott, right? I am. I am still. Okay. All right. I'm Jeff. Okay. What do we What do we have in here tonight? It could be that. Could be what? This? That. The, nar- the Narwhal, and I think that's how you say it, by uh, Sierra Nevada out of Mills River, North Carolina in Chico, California, mine. Uh, Sierra Nevada, everyone knows them for the most part are just about everybody that would be watching these videos, uh, you know, known for their green can pale ale, delicious beer, probably one of the first hoppy hop beers that really made it mainstream. Yes. Uh, a place that I would like to visit at some point would be Sierra Nevada Brew. So this is the special barrel aged edition. Um, they released this since 2013, and every year up until 2019, it was in um, 750 milliliter bottles. Now we're in 16-ounce uh, can format, mm-hmm. and um, this is just taken from the original um, Narwhal Imperial Stout recipe. Throw it in bourbon barrels for about a year, and it brings the percentage up uh, almost 2%, and this one is 11 Point nine. Um, point nine. So yeah, almost a year in the in the in the barrel, and we're getting flavors of oak, obviously, uh, vanilla, coconut, dark chocolate, and espresso. You said it. I did. I know it now. Um, this has uh, six different malts and two different types of hops in the recipe, also known as a recipe. So um, we're gonna. Do the usual uh, beer Rack right into it. Beer tube stuff. We're gonna pour it. We're gonna tell you what it looks like. Smell it. Taste it. Give it a score based on untapped. Join us on that app if you haven't. FHBR. We'll read scores at the end when we do our recap, and maybe you will be one of them. So, and uh, all our other social media fun stuff is down below as well. Yeah, like we said before, fun stuff is always down below. Um, really cool can. Uh, the Norwal, if you're not familiar, looks very ferocious on this can, but if you look up pictures on Google, it looks kind of cute. So Yeah, it's sort of like a giant steel with a big horn on it. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> – I thought it might be a mythical creature, actually. I thought, like, yeah, I didn't. it's like a unicorn. This isn't real, but no, nah, it's a real thing. So, um, yeah, you want to crack this guy open and uh, get started? Sounds good. All right, on uh, one, three, two, oh, three. That was pretty good, I think. I could barely hear it over my son yelling on Fortnite upstairs, but um, all right, I'm gonna give this about a half pour now. Jeff and I took these out of the fridge uh, almost an hour ago, so they have warmed up a bit. Um, hoping more of the flavors come out. And there we go. Nice dark chocolatey head on that. It like Pretty sucks down here, but yeah. Even a dark tan head. I didn't get didn't I didn't pour it real hard. I was pretty gentle. Yeah, mine uh, seemed quite carbonated as it was going in the glass, actually. I felt it was uh you know, had quite a bit of zip to it, so we'll see. Let's see how it smells. Woo! Yeah, almost like a coffee milk kind of color to it. Oh, yeah, we forgot about what. I mean, it, it is darker than dark. I mean, Coca Cola black. Like, it is dark. Yeah. And that, my head, the head on mine is still sticking around there. Um, tons of boo, not tons a, of booze coming off of it. Not a ton of lacing, though. For what no. that's worth. No, for that percentage. Uh, aromas are whew, 
Woohoo! <laughs> it smells yeah. hot. It's a big boozer. Um, a little. I'm getting coffee and chocolate. Bourbon for sure. Yep. Lots of bourbon. I'm not picking up any. I closed my eyes to smell it. I don't know if that helped. I'm trying to pick up uh, the vanilla and the coconut, and I'm not getting it off the nose, which is fine. And it feels. I'm getting all bourbon and booze, a little chocolate maybe, but. This is a bit below room temperature. Uh, I, if I had to guess, I'd say this beer is probably 50, 45, 50 degrees, something like that right now. And I think a lot of times for these types of beers, they recommend it 55 degrees-ish, somewhere around there. Yeah, definitely on the warmer side than you would normally, us Americans would normally drink. Yeah, and I, that that stuff's for real, man. You let a beer like this sit for a half hour. from Oh, it definitely, cha- it definitely changes it, uh, any beer. I, I mean, you drink an IPA warm versus cold and... Yeah. It's generally a lot different. Different, so. different results. So. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else you pick up on aromas? Mostly booze and... Mostly booze and bourbon, bourbon and uh, alcohol. Yeah. All right. You getting a chocolate and coffee? A little bit. Yeah, nothing crazy, though. Cheers to you. Cheers. Wow. Quite smooth, actually, for 12%. <clears throat> Not too boozy at all. Well done. Not too bourbony either. Uh, that's what I was worried about is that bourbon, like, it's there, but it's not blast. It's not the forefront. Yeah. Um, I actually get vanilla. <laughs> that's that's what I got, too. I got vanilla. Um, no coconut still, but the vanilla is nice. It's got a, a good medium mouthfeel to it. Chocolate. Vanilla. You know what it kind of tastes? You, you ever eat um, that real, like, real strong gourmet chocolate, like the 76, 85% c- cacao, cacao, cacao? Yeah, that doesn't it, have... It the... has that, like, berry berry taste to it almost, like... Uh, I know what like you real mean. Like, with that real chocolate flavor. Yep. It's almost, it's almost like that. Yeah, oh, I don't know why I'm leaning towards like a blueberry type thing, but right, like a raisiny or uh. raisins. Yeah, it does. It yeah. has a raisin quality to it. I'm actually surprised at how much I'm wanting to drink this. Um, when I blow it out through my nose when I'm swallowing, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. I do get coconut. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have coconut when I do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just as you're swallowing, just exhale <laughs> as you swallow. All right, let me try. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. No, but um, yeah, overall, I, I, I'm pleased with the aroma. I was like, oh man, this is going to be too much. Yeah, right. No, exactly. But I keep going back to my glass more than I thought I would actually. So um, mm-hmm. it's well done. We're we're tasting. Yeah, it doesn't. That bourbon background doesn't linger too badly. It makes you want to go back for more. Like, yeah, it dries it, off. Of it falls off the palate nicely. It's not hanging there. It's not too boozy. Which right. Great job. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, very good. Very good beer. Yeah, so I guess we're at that point in the show now. You know, I know everyone's going to be sad, but this is when we rate it, and then we move on to the recap. So, yep. Uh, what would you score it based on the untapped scale, zero to five? See, this is why I couldn't drink them all night, though, is because I just like exhaled heavily, and it was like I drank a glass of bourbon. Yeah, and I'm sure you know. if you were able to burp that you would also uh, be tasting that over and over again. Yes. I think that's a HIPAA violation, Scott, but I guess there's no diagnosis yet. I meant meant people in general. Oh, because... Not... I wasn't singling you out. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> um, I don't know. I, I'm cl- very close to a four, probably yeah. a little over. I'm, I'll go 4.1. Okay, I'm uh, 4.2. Um, Fucking Penn is a sucker. A silly sucker? Yes. It's being a silly goose? <laughs> yes, Scott. Uh, <laughs> Penn's being a silly goose on you. Mm-hmm. All right, so we are a 4.15 for the French Hawes Beer Review Average. If you are interested in numbers and seeing what other people have done by scoring this, stick around. We'll be back in just a few seconds for the COVID-19 sessions Untap Recap. Untap Recap. Thanks you for watching. watching. Hello, and welcome back to the French Hawes Beer Review's COVID-19 Untapped recap. I got it all out. That's a mouthful. <laughs> it was. It was. Uh, tonight we are, well, this is the recap for the Narwhal Barrel Age by Sierra Nevada. 2019 edition. Yes. Uh, combined, we gave it a 4.15. Wow, very good uh, score. Yes, yes. And we got a good handful of friends that checked it in, right, so. Yeah, five friends checked it in. Um, why don't you start that off? I think you had three of them. Yeah, I got uh, Mike Vitell. He's got a gave it a four and a quarter, four point two five. Uh, Jess with one S gave it a four. John E gave it a four point as well. Uh, Joe from the Beer Patrol, which is another great uh, beer review channel, uh, check him out. He gave it a four and a quarter. He actually liked the original version that wasn't barrel-aged more this year. But he thinks that if this one chills out for, you know, a year or so, that it could, um, you know. Come around. Come around. Different things might, you know, fade into the background. Other things will come up to the front. So uh, those were. I got uh, got Jeff M. He gave it a 4.25. All right. And um, 963 other folks uh 4.22 right that's what we had on this we liked it quite a bit um you know barrel age a lot of times is too too boozy for my liking but this one um, actually hit it pretty well this on one was well done for sure with the flavors so thank thank you guys who did check in and if you haven't joined us yet on tap do you you can do that right now fhbr send us a request and uh thanks for watching the COVID 19 sessions we we're like 14 or 15 reviews in on this. And we're going to keep going with our fun backgrounds. This looks like a 1989 class picture. And uh, Jeff, where are you at right now? A uh, tiki bar of some sort. Oh, yeah. Okay. Looks nice. They're closed, too? They're still closed? Yeah, I broke in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you didn't drink anything on tap. It's probably uh No, no, no. Just, yeah. what, just what we have to drink. I brought my own. All right. All I right. just needed a place to sit that wasn't raining. Yeah, away from your family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. On French Wars Bear Reviews. Have a great night. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into... French ho!